So Sean, um, the Ontario Corn Trial results are out. Um, lots of good information there. But there's piles and piles of plot results out there as well. And uh, I think growers are always interested in, you know, okay, I've got the trial results for the Ontario Corn Trials. I've got a lot of plot results. How do I put them together to help me make some decisions? Yeah, that's a great question. In fact, I was just at a farmer's place the other day and we were sitting down and he took me to the coffee table and showed me this stack of plot results from eight different companies are out there and saying, you know, one says theirs are the best, the other says theirs are the best, and they all contradict each other. At the end of the day, what do I believe and, and what should I actually be looking for when I'm picking the products that I want to grow on my farm the next year? And, and it's tough because you know, growers are inundated with information from all different types of sources. And I think at the end of the day, one of the things I recommend is, you know, pick something local. You know, that's where you start off. Look for local plot results, those plots that are more representative for how you farm in your area. When it comes to local, I mean, are we talking as well as soil types? You know, what, what, when, when you're looking at local data, what exactly are you, sort of, are you, are you yeah. benefiting from? Yeah, soil types are one thing, but environment, environmental conditions, weather patterns, uh, even just 10 miles can make a big difference at the end of the day if, uh, if there's different soil type differences. So trying to understand, you know, what are the soil types that this plot was grown on, and then what were the weather conditions? Are they conducive to how, you know, was going on on my farm? Uh, even back to, you know, that plot information has so much information on it. Uh, what was the tillage? What was the previous crop? Those are all things to consider when you're actually trying to evaluate. Is this plot representative for what goes on in my farm? And obviously there's yield information there, but it's just not yield. Everything, you know, test weights, moisture, so important. Absolutely. Very critical there because I, I know I've worked with enough people that they just go down that plot list until they come up, you know, 190, 190, 195, 200. That's the one I'm going to grow next year. And in a lot of cases, Look at the other information. What was the moisture for that corn? Uh, what was the test weight? You know, was it four or five points wetter than everything else? So it was probably a couple hundred heat units more than anything else in that plot. Or was the test weight a grade four or five or sample? So those are things to also look at. Just don't make yield your final determination. Look at all the factors and put it all in the context. Another thing is populations, right? Uh, so important because depending on how that, what, what the population of that plot was, maybe very close or very different from how you farm. Yeah, absolutely. Hybrids will respond to different environments they're growing in. So if you've got a plot where it's at 28,000 uh, 28, plants per acre, but you're growing at 36,000, how that hybrid, if you grow it on your farm, is gonna act quite a bit differently at that 36,000 versus the 28, how it did in that local plot. So really make sure that you're looking at all the factors that are involved. And the final thing you say, hey, you know, ask questions. Make sure you, you know, you're asking your sales rep to sort of bring this home to your farm and make it make it useful for you. Absolutely. Anything you can do to clarify, you know, whether it's the agronomic practices, uh, what, what's the population, does it respond to a fungicide, uh, is there anything else I should be concerned about? Uh, those are all things that ask your sales rep, ask your local sales rep, ask your agronomist, and they'll give you the best information they can to just make sure that you're getting the right decisions for your farm. Right, well, thanks for this today, and hopefully you're going to get some of the questions you've recommended her. <laughs> Absolutely.